still have a whole generation that we encourage to don't drop out, stay in school, finish the cycle. And now they're finishing the cycle, they're going out to the market and they're finding there are no opportunities for them. Find a skill, find something you're good at. And if you can get young people to find something they're good at, then you, you get to find their passion. Welcome to the fifth uh, YBI Entrepreneur of the Year competition. Uh, we are, as CNBC, delighted to be here. Entrepreneurs are the lifeblood of the economy and anything we can do to support them is important. The lady who has turned a one-woman cottage industry in Bangladesh to a full-fledged business around dealing with you know, global manufacturers, employing women who have similar challenges, and really trying to strike the right balance between initiative, enterprise, and social responsibility. She is an inspiration not only to women in her home country, Bhutan, but to women all around the world. She has grown her business which has created local jobs and has fulfilled a well-needed service in her community. And she has become a vital role model in Bhutan. His innovation, as I said earlier, is to ensure automation in gathering water supply and then helping people manage their water responsibly and their usage. He's created an effective business for doing that and he's become an entrepreneur of distinction. He has taken enormous risks. He has got tremendous determination having at one point had to give up his business, allow his wife to take it over and continue. Are a shoulder to cry on. They are structure where sometimes there is none. It gives us great pleasure to tell you that the winner of the Youth Business International Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2011 is